Question 20. A circle in the xy plane has a diameter with endpoints 2 comma 4 and 2 comma 14. An equation of this circle is x minus 2 squared plus y minus 9 squared equals r squared, where r is a positive constant. What is the value of r? So what you could do is to plug it in. That's one way. Uh, you plug in 2 and let's use 2 and 4 for this. So we would have 2 for the x. So here's what I'm going to do. Plus all this squared equals r squared. And what we're going to do is plug in 2 for the x and 4 for the y. That, that, that takes care of this and this. We still have the, the minus 2 here and the minus 9 here. OK. Now, rather than doing all the math, you can put this in your calculator right away. So let's do it all that. Let's put this in the calculator. Uh, here we go. OK, 2 minus 2, close it up, squared. I know it's 0, but let's just keep going. Um, 4 minus 9, close it up, squared, and you get 25. So we have 25 equals r squared. Then you square it both sides, and you get r is plus or minus 5. Uh, let's do that in the calculator real quick. Let's get that back out. Let's do the square root of five, sorry, the square root of 25. The principal square root of 25 is five. And so you would do plus minus five in a normal equation. However, this R is a positive number. So we will not be using negative five. We would just be using, uh, what I want to do is maybe to show in this manner, R equals five five or negative five, and then we reject this. So this is the answer five. So the answer you would put in would be five. Um, this is actually the, uh, the equation of a circle and R is a radius and the radius is a positive number. But even if we did not know that this was the equation of a circle, we could just plug it in and they tell us R is positive. So the answer is five. I'd like to show you another way to do this problem. And that is this. So we have to know that r is a radius of a circle. And the center of the circle is 2, 9. But, but the endpoints are 2, 4, and 2, 14. So let's go with that. Let's see here. Uh, let's put over here. Here's 2. Let's say here's 4. Not drawn to scale. Here's 14. So here's 2, 4. And here's 2, 14. And the circle has these endpoints. So the circle will look like this you've drawn properly. But this part here is the diameter. And from 14 to four, you get 10. So this particular part here is the diameter. So the diameter is 10. We have to know that this is the, equa this is the equation of a circle and R stands for the radius. And the radius is half the diameter. So 10 divided by two, which is five. So that's another way to get the answer of five.